Uh, everything's under control. Situation normal. What happened? Uh, had a slight weapons malfunction, but uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. As always, it's me, the Smithy D. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure that you are giving it a like. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure that you do subscribe. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the reworked Stormtrooper hand. And we're going to be comparing the difference from the current hand to the reworked version. All of these reworks are currently not live in the game, but they will be live at a later date. So don't worry about that if you don't see the changes as of yet. So let's jump in and have a look at his current basic attack, Wary Shot. His current basic attack deals physical damage to a target enemy with a 55% chance to gain 35% turn meter. This attack has a high damage variant. The new reworked version on his basic attack now changes that 55% chance to gain 35% turn meter to a 70% chance to gain 35% turn meter. This change could affect how you may be wanting to run him if you did place him under the new Commander Luke Skywalker's leadership with the 50% counter chance provided by Luke's leadership, Han in Taunt is essentially going to be counter attacking and using his basic now with an increased chance to gain turn meter may end in a less amount of a taunt. Han's current special ability is called Draw Fire, where Han taunts for 3 turns and all of her allies gain 30% turn meter. In addition, all of her allies gain 20% turn meter whenever Han is damaged. The new reworked ability of Draw Fire has an updated text to clarify that other allies gain turn meter only if Stormtrooper Han is damaged while his taunt is active and the cooldown has also been reduced by 1. So before the rework the cooldown was 5, now the cooldown has been reduced to 4. This has always been a very powerful special ability so it is nice to see that the cooldown has been reduced from 5. His current leadership, Plan B, provides all allies gain 35 defense while above 50% health and 35% offense while below 50% health. The new reworked leadership now grants a plus 40% defense instead of a plus 35 defense to all allies above 50% health. While it's nice to see a change because that flat number of 35 means really nothing to a character and how the game's changed since this character was released, the percentages are definitely better than a flat amount, but the leadership itself still isn't that great, but what would we expect? We've got Commander Luke coming with a superb leadership, and we don't want Stormtrooper Hand stealing the limelight. Stormtrooper Han's current unique is called Bluff, where Han has a 25% chance to remove 30% turn meter from each enemy at the start of his turns. In addition, Han has a 25% chance to remove 10% turn meter from each enemy when he is damaged. The new reworked version will now have a Zeta upgrade for whenever Han takes damage, he recovers 5% protection. So with the new increase of turn meter reduction chance on his basic, partnered with his unique, more turns, more chances to remove turn meter, but at the cost of lesser time in his taunt. The 5% protection recovery Zeta upgrade is a very nice touch and will help the user keep him alive a little bit longer for the arena and raids, but it's not a meta change in rework. So what is your thoughts? Are you excited to see what they're going to be doing with Leia and Raid Han Solo? Let me know in the comments below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Thank you very much for watching. I'm the Smithy D. May the Force be with you, always.